So we're just going to have a look at a little bit of load sharing uh, on Y hangs and the self equalizing bunny and tension lines. Okay, see if we can dispel a few myths. So this is uh, 1.5 meters ish. So this is the limit of what you want without double protection. Um, so I'm just going to rig uh, a Y hang into my load cells. Not too bothered about the angle, so I want to get my bag on. Right, so I've got my basic Y hang. It's quite a wide one. My angle's a so, uh, bit more than, a bit less than 90. And I've got a 100 kg load on it. I've got my two load cells in. And I've got 64 kilos on this one, 50 kilos on that one. So it's pretty much working to the maths, all right? I could adjust it a little bit more, but we get the idea, don't we? It is loading the, sharing the load between the two anchors. So as a rule of thumb, great idea to spread the load between the two anchors, all right? We're just going to look at something that you might see on site. Right, so you may or may have not have seen this before. This is a self-equalizing bunny. Or is it? It's the non-self-equalizing bunny. So it's a bunny knot with a short loop and a big loop. Uh, so on the standard wire before, I've got uh, 50 on each, basically. Okay, theory is if I move over here, it adjusts itself, but still maintains equal loading on the anchors. The problem is, if you do move over here, I've now got uh, 85 kilos on this anchor, uh, 25 kilos on that anchor. There's not a lot in that, really. Okay. So it's not much use. You may as well rig a Y anchor. The big downside with this as well, if you get any one component failure, you'll have a massive drop onto the system. So try and avoid it. Especially horizontally with tension lines, it works even worse. It, do, it doesn't do anything. 